All right, I'm live. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dave Stone again with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills. And today I'm at my friend's house. His name is Pavel. And I wanna show you something. Right behind me is his Moringa tree. And we planted this in February. And this, I don't know if you can see that on the screen there, but that's what it looked like in February. So you can see that right against the shed here. It's just a uh, real, I mean, it was kind of tall. What, about, about five feet? About five feet, yeah. It was about five feet tall. There was a, It was a multi-trunk. So you can see two trunks there. So I want to show you now what it looks like. Uh, and it's only been, what, six months? Yeah, six months. Six months since we planted this. And you can see at the bottom of this picture, if you could see it, how heavily we mulched right when we planted it. So we mulched really heavily. We gave it a lot of worm castings and rock dust, and uh, he's watering it nicely with his lawn. So um, I'm going to show you the tree. Here you go. So there it is. It was barely reaching that window. And I'm going to flip the camera around here. I want to show you this trunks. The multi trunk on this thing is it's sturdy, really sturdy. And when you look up, go up on the tree. I mean, it was it was maybe this high. And this has been in, hey, what's up Juan Arcos, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah, check this out. I mean, how tall is it now? Like 10, 11 feet. 10 or 11 feet tall. Yeah, and look at all these. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be trimming it. Yep. So I'm gonna, so there's Pavel. Say what's up, Tom. Hey guys. People. And um, so yeah, we, we took this and planted it only six months ago. So now we're gonna chop it and we're gonna show you how we chop it because, uh, and what it, and I'm gonna come and do an update later and show you how it um, does. Hey Juan, so you got three Moringos growing. Awesome, yes, spread the Moringas. Spread the Moringas. Everybody should be growing them. All right, so what, how are we gonna start here? Which ones do you wanna keep? All right. Yeah. Okay, I'll help untie if I can. It's hard to put, untie with one hand. <laughs> yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. I need to talk about it. I tied it up so it supports it. Oh, yeah, you had to stake it because of the wind. Yep. Taste this one here. All right, so I'm gonna taste this tree. Mm. Has some small leaves on it. They're very mild. Mm. Tastes great. So once uh, we cut this down, he's gonna have a lot of moringa to process. And I haven't posted it yet, but um, I'm gonna be posting the the rest of the Moringa demo farm videos um, right after this one when I get back home. Right. I just wanted to show you guys this. Chop tree. Down. I'll hold the camera. Oh, you, okay. Flip around. Okay, so let's look at these. So, which ones do you want to keep? You want it to come straight up? Yeah, Obviously let's make it a single one. Yeah, yep. I think just leave the single one on both In of the them. Middle. Mm -hmm. So we'll take this one and this one. Yep. Exactly. Right, cool. These two here, and and then once we take those, we'll see what we yeah. should do to the rest. And maybe of just uh, yep, chop them at the top. So the moringa, there's a couple really cool things about it. Actually, when you're doing this, is once we cut them down and we take the leaves off, we could replant all of these branches if we wanted to. Typically they're supposed to be at least an inch thick and these ones are, so we could transplant them. So I'm just gonna take them down. Do you want it to keep branching out from the bottom? Would no, you like I'm, it or do you want it to just branch out up here? Yeah, probably just, yeah, keep so going. So I'm gonna take it, if you don't want it to, I'm just gonna take it as close to the yeah. tree as possible. Is 
This actually cuts really, really easy too. There we go, there's one. Cool. And this one? Yeah, let's get that one. Keep in mind guys, this has only been six months. Yeah. Look at this. Crazy. This one branch is is almost as more tall than me. So this is great. Yep. So and then let's you wanna we can bring this one straight up. Yeah, probably do, do that. You wanna leave all four because there's two more. There's this one and this one. This one's not bad to leave. Okay. You wanna take this one or you wanna leave all four of these? Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Maybe if you, you want this to be a tree, and if you want it to kind of branch out, maybe we take top this one, because this one you want to keep. But if we top it here, it'll start branching out, or we could top it like here. Uh, maybe, yeah, or maybe somewhere like around here. Because this one's going straight. Yeah, so let's top it here. Okay. It'll start branching out. And we'll stake it so it'll start growing straight up. Yeah. Um, we could leave these on it if you want. Just yeah, so yeah, just leave. Leave. Mm -hmm. exactly. Um, so that one is pretty good, right? That one's tall. I mean, do you, if you want it to start branching out, because see, it's going straight up. So if you want it to start branching out, we should, we could top it, and it'll get branches going out this way. Because right now there's no, well, there is a branch here. Yeah. So maybe, so this one might start branching out on its own. So maybe okay. we leave this yeah, one for now. Yeah, let's leave that one for now. Yep. Yeah, let's leave that one. So cool. Anything on the back end there, you think? Um, Just that other branch, probably leave it, yeah? Yeah, probably good right now. Yeah, I think that's good. We got a lot. We just harvested yeah. a ton. So, yep. yeah, that's good. Cool. So then we'll stake this one a little bit straighter up. Tie it. Okay. So other than that. So here it is, guys. All the Moringa that we just harvested. There's a lot of branches down here. And uh, all we gotta do now is pull each each branch off the tree and uh, hang them up. And that's gonna dry them. So, um, yeah, so start breaking them off. I'll, I'll get a bag first. So when... So hold on, I'll get a bag. Well, we hold on to a lot of them. So you kinda just break them off and you can hold them like a handle. So you see you have like a bunch. So you just put a tie on the end of this and then hang it somewhere in the shade. So you definitely want to give it shade. So probably dry it like under this tree or in the storage shed. But definitely a nice amount of a Moringa. You can also use this fresh. You could cook it up like spinach with a little bit of coconut oil. Um, if you guys would be interested in seeing a, a cooking series on Moringa, I've been thinking about trying to put together a whole bunch of things you can do with Moringa. And if that's something you guys be interested in, let me know. But you can eat it fresh. You can put it in smoothies. You can cook it up, fry it, boil it, make some stew, put it in there. And if you dry the leaves, you can make tea. If you dry the leaves, all you have to do is rehydrate them. You don't have to powder them all. You just dry them and then store the dried leaves in a container and then you can um, throw them in a stew or a soup dried and then they will just rehydrate and uh, taste amazing. So yeah, so if you do it, if you kind of do this, you could just bunch them and hang them to, if you want to dry. So if you want to take some fresh, All right, guys. Oops. 
Whoa, that sun is bright. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. Well, there it is, the tree behind me. It has grown so fast and it's super prolific. And here's the um, small harvest that I just picked and Pavel's still down there um, picking off, picking the leaves. And there's gonna be a huge harvest just from these six months of growing a small Moringa tree. Treating it right, planting it right, feeding it. Pavel does a really good job of feeding his trees. So just remember that, you know, trees need food. Uh, just like us, you know, they need to eat. So how do you feed trees? You feed them with wood chips. Organically, you don't need chemical fertilizers. You need wood chips and the wood chips break down. When we, when we planted this tree, the wood chips were seriously, how high? They were like, yeah, probably like that, yeah. eight inches something high all the way around this tree yeah. and it ate it. It just, it's gone. And so I want to show you, let's look at what the soil looks like under this tree. So it's a little bit dry right now, which means it could get watered, but look, it's still doing so well. And the soil is very, very dry right here on top. But if you dig down, look, just a little bit. Oh my gosh, black. That does not look like Arizona soil. Look at that, that's just rich, nutrient dense food for the plant. You can even see all the micro roots in there. Those are what grab all the nutrients from the surface. Um, so that's what happens. You throw a lot of wood chips, it breaks down. The summer will take the wood chips out. So, you know, um, you can, the soil can eat about a foot of wood chips in one summer and it'll, it'll shrink it down to, to one inch. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything about Moringa planting trees or anything you have a question or comment about, if I can help you, please ask. Um, definitely comment on this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel because you know I'm gonna be putting a lot more of these videos out and I'm really kind of obsessed right now with Moringa trees. And uh, as you can see, some of my friends are obsessed too, so that's good. <laughs> but anyways, all right, guys, I love you all. And until next time, develop awesome skills, but uh, plant a Moringa. And if you don't have a Moringa or if you live in an apartment, go get some Moringa powder. Uh, Sprouts has it. Everybody, everywhere has it. So just find some Moringa, start taking it every day, see what it does for you. Because it, it might... <laughs> It's seriously, literally the most nutrient dense food on the planet. It's a food. It's a vegetable tree. It's not a fruit tree, guys. It's a vegetable tree. You can eat every leaf. It has 46 antioxidants that hunt down free radicals inside your body. So <laughs> that's why it helps against cancer. And it has eight is all of the essential amino acids that the body needs. It has more iron than spinach, more protein than eggs, more protein than milk. It's got more vitamin A than carrots. Uh, it's got a product called, Z it's got a protein, or not a protein, it's a plant hormone and neurotransmitter called zeatin, Z-E-A-T-I-N. And that actually is a neurotransmitter. It makes you smarter, makes your memory, makes you be able to remember better, um, long-term and short-term memory. So research zeatin, uh, it's inside the Moringa plant. And there's protein, so. It's, uh, that's why they call it the miracle tree. They call it the Nebadai tree. I gotta show you another one of my friend's Moringa trees because it actually died from the top. But one month later, it started sprouting. It, the roots were still there. They call it the Nebadai tree, which translates to never die. So um, super miracle tree, guys. It's not a super food, it's a mega food. So there it is, guys. Um, until next time, develop awesome skills and make sure you comment and uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Until next time guys, have an awesome day and develop awesome skills.